What are some other things to consider when we're thinking about waste? And these are actually things that aren't listed out in many of the guidelines, but through talking to growers, nobody knows the farm like the person that works it and that grows everything on it. So often talking to them, you know, they'll come up with things like, well, maybe after, you know, working out in the poultry house or maybe after applying manure, I need to change my boots or I need to step into a bleach water bath and sanitize before I go work out my tomatoes and leafy greens. So these are some other good agricultural practices when working with manure and compost to consider. And these are pretty simple, things like separating raw manure and compost and manure. If you're working on a compost pile, you don't want to reintroduce new raw manure to it because then you could essentially be re-inoculating that nutrient-rich medium. Windrows are actually out on concrete, and if they're not on concrete pads, they've compacted the soil so much that it really prevents leaching down into the soil. And then another good idea when dealing with compost is to try to cover the piles. Some people don't cover their windrows just because they're such a large surface area, but if you can, A, covering the piles really helps them to heat up so you can get up to the temperature the threshold, the 130 to 170 degrees. And then it also really minimizes wind dispersal, minimizes re-inoculation by other animals, 